Welcome back and covering the Treasure Coast. Put on your sneakers to help protect our local sea cows. The 16th annual Treasure Coast Manatee Foundation run. It's all happening this Saturday. People of all ages invited to participate in the Fort Pierce event. So joining me is Treasure Coast Manatee Foundation President Bob Lynch right here beside me and board member Hannah Atzma. Thank you both, Hannah, Bob, for being here. Bob, we'll start with you. Tell us a little bit about the Treasure Coast Manatee Foundation and the Manatee Center that you have. Okay, well, the Treasure Coast uh, Manatee Foundation was uh, started about 27 years ago when the center first opened. We are the fundraising arm for helping to uh, raise money to get their education out to the community. It's been them. really important over the last couple of years as we've seen, unfortunately, a, a rise in manatee deaths. Uh, definitely. The manatee mortality really woke people up to our gentle giants mm -hmm. that were actually shrinking due to the lack of sea rest. Um, Treasure Coast Manatee Foundation, I mean, we uh, partnered out with uh, FPUA, uh, Fort Pierce Utilities, and Sea and Shoreline and started planting seagrass to help restore Indian River Lagoon. It's an ongoing process. Oh, it definitely is. A and that's why the, the run, the event this weekend is so important. So tell us what we can expect. Yeah, so this is the Treasure Coast Manatee Foundation's annual fundraising event. This is the 16th year we've been doing it. Okay. So this run uh, takes you through historic downtown Fort Pierce and then um, circles back and goes over the South Bridge in Fort Pierce and then finishes along the Indian River Lagoon. So lots of scenic views. It's fun for the whole family. You can be an avid runner, a casual walker. Uh, in addition to the 5K, we also have a one mile course that's untimed. Uh, if you just wanna walk, you don't wanna go over that tall bridge. And then we also have a kids run, which is oh, new nice. this year. So it's a little short out and back. So everyone can be involved. And so once the run is over, I would imagine everybody can gather, have fun, enjoy, and, and learn about um, conservation. Yes, we have a lot going on at the end this year. We'll have a great award ceremony, music going. We will have some beer from Sailfish Brewing Company. Nice. Um, we'll have some mead, some cold brew from some local, uh, local businesses. So lots going on, uh, lots of fun. A lot of fun. You've got the medal here that you can get if you join. Yes, so we have t-shirts and medals for all participants. So if you want one of these, be sure to sign up fast because it is uh, filling up pretty quickly. So everyone can be involved that wants to be involved. Um, so sign up. Yeah, we put a link on our website, WPBF.com, if people want to check it out. And also, I just love it. It's raising awareness. And we have so many new Floridians, especially on the Treasure Coast. Right. Um, and so they need to understand these are our, our friends. These are our friendly sea cows. And we need to know how to protect them, especially we're on boats and so forth. So Right. All right. right. Wonderful. Thank well, you so thank much. Well, thank you so much for yeah. Inviting us, and I, I hope your weather team uh, cooperates with us. Well, and let's check gives in with Sandra. Yeah, no yeah. pressure, Sandra. The 16th Annual Manatee Center 5K this weekend. Check it out on our website.